In this video, we'll use the Alteryx formula tool to create new fields using data from existing fields. Our ultimate goal is to compute the recovery year. Before we can do that, we need to create variables that identify the month and year that assets were placed into service and disposed of. Drag the formula tool from the blue preparation menu onto your canvas and connect it to the select tool. Go to the configuration pane. Click on the drop down arrow next to select column and select the option to add a column. Name this column placed into service year. To see suggested formulas, click on FX and expand the date time formula menu. You may have to scroll down to select the date time year formula from the list. Replace the DT with the placed in service column. You can do this by typing in an open bracket to see the column names and then selecting placed into service from the list. In the data type box, click the drop down arrow and change the data type to double. This converts the data to a numeric data so that we can use it in formulas later. You can put multiple formulas in the same formula tool. Click on the plus button to open a new formula. Click on the down arrow and add a column, naming this column placed into service month. We're going to use the formula button to find the date, time, month formula, and then we will replace the DT with placed into service, remembering to change our data type to double. Now that we've walked you through how to create a formula that identifies the year and month that an asset was placed into service, try repeating this process to compute the disposal year and disposal month. Pause this video now and give it a try. Restart the video when you are finished. How did you do? A nice feature of Alteryx is that you can copy and paste just like you can in Word, Excel, Google Docs, and many other programs. So while you may not have used this method, let me show you how I would create the formulas by copying and pasting. First, I add a new formula and I create a column titled Disposal Year. Then I highlight the formula in the Placed into Service Year column. I hit Control C at the same time on my keyboard, or if you're a Mac user, you would hit Command C. And then I click in the formula box and I hit Control V. Again, if you're an Apple user, you would hit Command V. In this case, I just need to change the placed into service to be the disposal date and change the data type to double. I then repeat this process one more time to compute the disposal month. If you're not familiar with the keyboard shortcuts I showed, you can also copy by right-clicking and selecting copy from the menu, and again right-clicking and selecting paste. Change the placed in service into the disposal date and change your data type to double. Create a new formula labeled current year. And enter the current year into the formula box. This is a static or constant value. Change the data type to double. Finally, create a new variable to compute the recovery year. In the formula box, enter the following formula. Current year minus placed into service year plus one. Change the data type to int32. 
Later on, we will use this variable to match recovery years from the depreciation tables worksheet. Intuitively, adding one ensures that in the first year, we are using year one as our recovery year, not year zero, which has no meaning in the depreciation table. Save and run your workflow. Click OK and click on the output anchor from the formula tool and verify that the computations performed by the formula tool are correct. Good job! You've now learned how to use the formula tool to create new fields using data from existing fields. In the next video, you'll learn how to add your workflow to a container.